What's up everyone on the internet? Thank you for making this video part today. I am so excited to upload this one for you guys because this video we'll be taking a look at a show that did a terrific job in reimagining an iconic comic book character, My Adventures with Superman. So this cartoon was released early this past summer and one of the things that I really liked about it was how they handled both Clark Kent and Superman. Now just to be clear, my only exposure to Superman cartoons was in the early 2000s, the Justice League cartoon and Damn, that just shows you how old I really am. But I also am aware that in recent years, Warner Brothers Animations has made several animated cartoon movies with Superman, but that's really comparing apples to oranges. I mean, cartoon movies and cartoon shows are completely different things. So you could say that my overall exposure to Superman animation is very small. But like I said, growing up with the Justice League cartoon, while the majority of that show focuses on a lot of other superheroes, Whenever you saw Superman enter the screen, you got a sense of strength and confidence in this character. And even without the red cape, you can see how some of those traits carry on to Clark Kent, where he's still this strong, confident guy. Now, while that's cool for the character, growing up as a kid, I never really could connect to that character, seeing as how he was a little too perfect. But when you look at this show, I love how they handle both Superman and Clark Kent because while Superman is still this strong, courageous person, on the flip side, Clark Kent is this nice, humble person that you can hang around with. And that just makes this character go from a godlike figure to your best friend. And I love how this show does not make Superman overpowered right out the front gate. Because in other iterations of the character, while he does get his powers very quickly, by the end of, I don't know, episode 2 or 3, he's already mastered most of his abilities, making him this unstoppable force. Which makes it very hard to show any threat that could potentially hurt him, because now you have to introduce other characters that are either on the same power level as him, or even stronger. Which means that the city at this point is pretty much doomed. Here, from the very first episode to the season finale, we gradually get to watch Superman gain most of his powers throughout the entire season, as we first start off with strength and flight, then moving on to ice breath, heat vision, all other powers that we associate this character with, while at the same time, he's also going on this sort of hero's journey as he's discovering who he really is, and also dealing with some villains that actually stand a chance. The reason why I say that is because while Superman is still mastering some of his abilities, this puts his power level on par with some characters that I like to call throwaway villains. Now what I mean by that is while there are several iconic Superman DC characters sprinkled throughout the entire season, they're only there to remind us that there is a big world out there that Clark is unaware of yet. And because we don't want to see him take down some of his iconic villains too quickly, we gotta put in some B-list characters that we can see him smack around a bit. Now, without giving away any spoilers, I will say that while I am familiar with some of the villains we see in this season, it has been a very long time since I read a comic book, so I'm not really sure if the other villains we see were either created for the sake of the show or if they're well-established DC characters. But either way, watching these bad guys take their shot at Superman was pretty fun because if they were to fight Superman in his prime, they wouldn't stand a chance. Okay, so I had to look up these characters and as it turns out, they're well-established DC villains. That's pretty cool because I'm pretty sure hardcore Superman fans already knew right off the bat, but for general fans like me, I had no idea that some of these characters were some of Superman's villains. But anyway, while I liked watching Superman learn how to fly, I also liked watching the Clark Kent side of the story, where he's trying to balance his life between superhero and daily planet and turn, which leads to the heart and soul of the entire season, which is the friendship between Clark Kent, Jimmy Olsen, and Lois Lane. Ah! Sorry you had to see that, and I'm sorry I blew out your eardrums. Okay, skeletons out of the closet, let's just get this out in the open. The real reason why we all loved watching this show was obviously Lois Lane. I mean, damn, the animators struck gold when they turned this know-it-all character from the Daily Planet into a badass pixie cut intern who was able to look danger in the eye with a grin and yet blush every time Clark enters the room. Honestly, I can go on forever on why this is the best Lois Lane we've seen in years. 
But one of the other things I also liked about the show is that while it does play around with the idea of Superman having a secret identity, you can only go so far until someone realizes that Clark is Superman. Granted, I love those glasses so much. I mean, one of the reasons why I bought these frames was because they remind me of Clark Kent. But really, are people that stupid? All you gotta do is take off his glasses and suddenly Clark Kent becomes Superman. I mean, Jimmy Kimmel did it best when he discovered both Batman and Superman's secret identity, which is hilarious, and I'll be sure to put a link in the description down below. But anyway, while I liked watching Superman fool his friends with his secret identity, the truth eventually comes out probably halfway into the season, and I love how they handled this aspect of the character because in other iterations, Superman is the one to reveal his identity to his friends who are practically clueless at this point. Here we get to watch his friends put the pieces together which already makes him far more intelligent because honestly, how hard is it to imagine Clark without glasses? Or better yet, how hard is it to imagine Superman with glasses? And when you look at previous Superman cartoons, you begin to see that while Superman's off saving the day, Lois and Jimmy are left of the Daily Planet as side characters. But when you look at this show, when you look at this version of Superman, while he is trying to become Superman, he is still able to make several mistakes. And because of those mistakes, it allows both these versions of Lois and Jimmy to step in and take part of the action which ultimately creates this dynamic character bond because while you have Superman being the muscle of the group, you also have Lois and Jimmy being the brains. Well, maybe Lois because there are times where she kind of acts like a detective while Jimmy on the other hand is basically a YouTuber, which suddenly made me realize that while I love the idea of being a superhero in DC Comics, I got a feeling that I will probably end up as a Jimmy Olsen kind of character. And I mean that in the best possible way because when you see how he has a passion for his YouTube channel, it's something that I can relate to and honestly, I think we would be the best of friends. So yeah, while Superman's front and center in every episode of this season, Lois and Jimmy are also able to hold their own. Now when it comes to how much I enjoyed this show, it usually comes down to how many episodes that I like overall. And with only 10 episodes in this first season, I gotta tell you, this show is flawless. I loved every single episode of My Adventures with Superman. You get great character development with Clark and Superman, you get great character support with Lois and Jimmy, and you get great villains in this first season. So overall, I really loved this first season. It's fun, it's adventurous, and it's a terrific way to get viewers introduced to Superman. So if you're looking for something to binge to on Adult Swim or on Max, I highly recommend you watch this show. Well, that's gonna do it for this video, guys. That was my overall review on my adventures with Superman. If you like what you saw, hit the subscribe button to get guys up from this channel. I'll see you next time with a brand new video. Bye bye.